Hi everybody, this is Flavio and welcome to my first video about three secrets to get better as a drawer. So today I will analyze this painting and talk about the three things that are very important while starting to make a painting. So first one is sketching. It helps a lot to start with the sketch, to have an idea of where to go, but don't put too much attention to the sketch. Just allow the other medium as a brush with paint to do whatever it wants while you take into, into consideration the starting point from the sketch. So sketching it's a very good idea. And also have a notebook to to note your ideas in that notebook it's a, it's a must for an artist so you definitely have to do it and from time to time just pick ideas from that uh, notebook and start doing them here I want to talk to you about the second important thing which is layers well, these things, as you see them, were made in steps. I mean, I started with the layer from the background, which, as you can see, it's made with a very uh, relaxed gesture of the hand with the brush. And this way I was able to make these nice gradients that are going from light to blue to pink to red and stuff like that. So if I would have make this character on top I couldn't go like this without touching him so that's why layers and steps are a little bit important so this comes to planning a little bit artists don't plan very much but uh, yeah they just they just express but uh, most of the times you will see that from idea to the final product there are some planning steps, so definitely take the planning into consideration and that involves layers, as in Photoshop. So I made the background first and then I was constructing this guy on top. And as you can see, this guy is made up from shapes and those shapes describes the third thing that I'm uh, emphasizing a lot and that is gradients. As you can see, we have uh, a number of uh, shapes on this face guy and those are made by gradients and I just give you an example. You see this light area is going to a darker area, a gray area and that is f with a very smooth transit, so that is a gradient. Right here we have the light area and that goes to this blue area. So that's another gradient. We have this light area and that goes there goes to a brown gray area. So gradients actually most of the paintings are made by a number of shapes that describes gradients. Not all the paintings contain gradients, but most of them. So when you want to start to paint definitely you have to learn how to make gradients and in my next videos i will show you some examples how to make gradients with brushes and paint so thank you very much guys stay tuned for my next videos i will talk about soon about contrast which will be a very interesting uh, topic bye thank you